I'm Quirt. I'm Kaya. And, and we're, we're the, the Back Road Cowgirls. Family is walking my family away. I'm Court and I'm Kaya and we're the background cowgirls and I am tired of sleeping in this damn van. Don't worry friend I'm gonna take you to one of the most legendary and iconic inns on the central coast of California. You can't miss it it's literally bright pink. Do you think they'll let us stay? <sighs> I hope. Let's just like let's go. Kick the cow poop off our shoes. And I think I'm crippled. Okay, let's go. So this was established in 1958 by Alex and Phyllis Madonna, my grandparents, and Grandpa Alex wanted to build something that was a roadside attraction, something that people were drawn to and they could enjoy a meal or a night stay and then get back on their travels. He built every room different, then he could never make the same mistake twice. <laughs> so we have 110 unique guest rooms and we have the restaurants and the shops and everything has this whimsical kind of alpine architecture um, which kind of harkens back to grandpa's roots. Um, and there's also a lot of influences from his love of construction and from cattle. So that is sort of woven throughout the fabric of the inn. Grandpa Alex grew up on a ranch. Um, he grew up in army camp. And so he was riding ponies. He was out in the dirt. Um, and cattle and construction were his passions. So you really see that in all of the different elements of the inn. We all grew up, I think all of us know how to ride and rope. <laughs> we all grew up on um, ranches and with cattle and with horses. There are still horses and cattle run on the family properties. A lot of us are still involved in agriculture, even if it's just a pastime, um, brandings and going to the fair and ropings and um, rodeos really big with our family members. So it's one of our passions and it's really close to our heart, kind of just how we were raised. It's so special because we have people of all types, people of all ages, from all different countries, and for some people this is the first time that they've seen a horse. So we have horses like right near our hotel units, um, we have the trail rides, and I think just the, for some people too, rolling hills and just open grassy space. It's something that, you know, I hope I never take for granted, but I realize that so many people have never experienced. So when they come here and they can experience that, it's so special and something that we're really proud of. We're really proud to be able to offer these elements of agriculture, of Western lifestyle to our guests. Grandpa really loved beef. He loved to raise cattle and he loved to enjoy beef. He wanted to make a steakhouse that was classic, um, salt, pepper, oakwood barbecue. We have steak sauce if you need it, but mostly you don't need it. Um, our steak knives are butter knives because Grandpa always insisted on getting really high quality beef. This steakhouse is sort of our, our diamond of Madonna Inn. It's what everyone knows and comes to see. Our circus cakes are these lavish, colorful, really extravagant creations. Um, and they're circus cakes because they are rainbow, uh, floral, lattice, like every decoration you can imagine. And so it's kind of our signature that we would bring to the Mid-State Fair, to brandings, to birthdays. Um, and they just brought that element of fun and you always knew it was a Madonna Inn circus cake when you saw it. Everything that Grandpa did was a little bit over the top. As kids, we kind of thought that that was just normal. As I've grown up, I've realized how special that was. The color pink, because he thought that it made people happy and he also thought that it was a beautiful color to wear. So he loved seeing my grandma in pink. Um, and he thought that if he could make a pink space where people were just naturally happy, 
why not? Grandma, along with being Grandpa's partner and his buddy, um, she was in charge of a lot of the decor, a lot of the inspiration for the designs. There's a sweet story in this book where Grandma talks about how they had hired designers for the rooms and the designers picked the same things that Grandma had picked and so Grandpa said, Phyllis, why don't you just do it? Um, and it was a big task, but she's obviously done incredibly well and she is so creative and that really shows through in the decor.